what tips or advice would you give to students as far as just kind of like logistically keeping track of the application process and deadlines and all of the things that have to be completed and filled in? How did you manage that process? Um, and what kind of support would you recommend to students as they're going through that? Um, Bianca, do you want to start? So what I did was I opened a Google uh, Docs spreadsheet, and then I listed all of the universities I had applied to. And then I would um, do rows of like the deadline for the priority applications, the deadline for the regular applications. I would have like a little status update on my essays. So if I needed like say three supplemental essays in addition to the you know common up essay, then I would, you know, make a column for each essay and then say last updated 10th December, you know, 2019 and so forth. And then I would also keep track of my, the last time I called them, the last time I emailed them, what it was about. Um, I would also keep track of their answers because I had a lot of questions um, coming into a system that I didn't really know a lot about. So I would constantly be calling the universities like every week. I saw several of you nodding your heads while Bianca was saying that. Did you all use a similar system for keeping track of things? Any other tips or advice you'd like to add as far as kind of managing the process? To start essays in the summer, especially for U.S. universities, a lot of the prompts will come out in the summer already, like July. And my biggest regret is not doing that. So I'm asking you guys to do it because... What the process was like for me was I was very slow. So from like September to November, I worked on one app, like one application, my early action school. And then I learned that I got deferred. So now I had to apply to nine universities in the span of three weeks. And it was very intense. So if there's anything you can get a head start on, do it. I think that's a great point. Yeah, it kind of comes at you fast and furious once the fall months begin. And you also sort of forget that you're going to be in your final year of high school. So there's going to be lots going on at school. There's going to be not only lots of academic work, but lots of fun activities that you'll want to be participating in. And the last thing you want is to feel like you are behind on the application stuff that has to be done. Because yeah, those months go by really quickly. And all of a sudden, it's it's deadline day. Any other advice um, as far as that part of the process, kind of keeping track of your applications, managing the list of schools that you're going to apply to, um, that that sort of stage of things? I just wanted to kind of hit on the researching your schools aspect. Just like, especially when you're applying, be sure of like the programs that you want to apply Two, if you know that you want to like do something like, for example, psychology, they're like, there's the Bachelor of Arts Psychology and then Bachelor of Science Psychology. Just like be sure of the one that you want to apply to because I made that mistake for one of my schools. And then instead of applying for Bachelor of Arts, I applied for Bachelor of Science and then I ended up getting rejected. And so that's just one thing you should also focus on because it's like a really easy mistake to make. Yeah, there's so many things to select and fill in on all of those applications. It's such a good point. Like do all of that double and triple checking to make sure you've selected the right things when you're doing the applications, but also take the extra time to make sure you've sort of done that research when you're at the even earlier stage of researching the schools so that you know that, you know, you're applying to the right programs at the right institutions. I'm sure we're making it sound like there's loads to keep track of, but you guys are obviously five stories of success, you know, having gone through the process and having managed it beautifully. So um, you know, we certainly don't want to make students feel like it's totally overwhelming. It's, it's certainly manageable. And I think you guys have all done a really good job of managing the process and staying organized and, and now providing that advice and tips to prospective students. 